The Consumer Reports Restaurant Customer Satisfaction Survey is based upon 148,599 visits to full-service restaurant chains. One of the variables in the study is meal price, the average amount paid per person for dinner and drinks, minus the tip. Suppose a reporter for the Suncoast Times thought it would be of interest to her readers to conduct a similar study for restaurants located on the Grand Strand section in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The reporter selected a sample of eight seafood restaurants, eight Italian restaurants, and eight steakhouses. The data shown in the textbook show the meal prices in dollars obtained for the 24 restaurants sampled. Use alpha equal 0.05 to test whether there is a significant difference among the mean meal price for the, th the three types of restaurant. For the eight Italian restaurants, the sample mean is 17 and the sample variance is 14.86. For the eight seafood restaurants, the sample mean is 19 and the sample variance is 13.71. And for the eight steakhouse restaurants, the sample mean is 24 and the sample variance is 14.00. The sum of squares due to treatment, we need to calculate first the overall sample mean, which comes to 20. And then using the formula provided in the textbook, we obtain a sum of squares due to treatment as 208. Dividing this by its degrees of freedom 2, we obtain 104 as the mean square for treatment. The sum of squares for error, using the formula provided in the textbook, we obtain 297.99. Dividing that by its degrees of freedom, 21, we obtain 14.19 as the mean square for error. The F statistic divides the mean square for treatment by the mean square for error and we obtain 7.33 for the F statistic. And then to find the p-value corresponding to that F statistic, we need to look up an F distribution table. And we're going to use two numerator degrees of freedom and 21 denominator degrees of freedom. And if we look up the percentiles in the table, we find that 5.78 has an upper tail of 0 0.01 and the F statistic, statistic of 7.33 lies to the right of 5.78, so its upper tail will be less than 0 0.01. So therefore the p-value is less than 0 0.01, and so it's certainly less than 0 0.05 in our significance level. So we reject the null in favor of the alternative, so there is evidence that the mean meal prices are not equal in the different types of restaurant.